the MP12DA1. Now the obvious initial reaction is this looks strikingly similar to the MP12DM and you wouldn't be wrong. These two pumps share the same platform with a few dramatic changes to the internals as well as one or two on the outside that we'll go over. The MP12DA1 is for ammonia applications. Contractors that we are hearing more and more from throughout the country have asked and inquired about such a pump. Now ammonia and their byproducts are extremely corrosive to carbon steel as well as other metals and components typically found in a vacuum pump. The technology in the MP12DA1 is the same technology found inside of our industrial vacuum pumps, the same pumps that are being used around the world in sterilizing processes in hospitals. The pump cylinder as well as the fasteners and other internal components have been converted over from any carbon-based steels to corrosion resistant materials that can withstand the rigors of ammonia work. The DA1 still boasts the same performance potential as its sister, the 12DM, including a three micron ultimate vacuum rating, lightweight due to its inverter driven drive, and a very low running current of 7.9 amps. One of the main differences that you'll note on the exterior of the pump is the tree itself. You can see that the inlet has instead been fitted with a KF fitting. KF25 will be the sizing on the inlet and outlet of this pump. If you have customers that have already invested in the True Blue hoses, it's as simple as a quick Amazon search. KF25 to 16 adapters are readily available and quite affordable. One last note to make, you'll notice the oversized fill cap, much like the DM, it serves as not only an oil fill cap, but it's also the exhaust port of the pump. The oversized nature is not for aesthetic value, but for in fact a functional purpose. Inside the housing of that cap is a media, which is referred to as a filter, but I prefer to call it a condenser. The mesh inside that cap is designed to capture any oil that's been atomized and prevent it from being exhausted along with the moisture of the equipment it's evacuating. Oil mist can collect on that, condense, and then on its own fall back down directly into the crankcase of the oil. Now obviously when we're talking about ammonia, there is an inherent grave danger to working in these types of environments. If technicians find themselves working on ammonia-based equipment inside a mechanical room in a facility, it may be required of them to have any exhaust fumes from the pump itself routed outside the building. So for the off chance that the technician will be exposed to ammonia fumes, the 12DA1 is going to come with the oil fill cap, but it can be removed and replaced with another KF25 flange fitting. The flange fitting can be utilized in these environments by installing the flange and then routing another KF25 hose from the pump outside the building. The thinking that went into this product as well as the flexibility we try to provide the technicians demonstrates a big priority on Navac's part to capture all of these niche areas of the vacuum pump industry. We're not going to wait for these niches to grow big enough to find value in producing a product for it. We're getting ahead of it. We're gonna be proactive in order to maintain our stance as the most wide ranging applicable vacuum pump manufacturer on the planet. With flame resistant recovery around the corner, pumps rated for ammonia environments, Navac remains poised in position to remain the undisputed HVAC vacuum pump solution.